Welcome back to Trading 360. It's time for our 360 round where our panel is ready. Hugh Odom's with us, founder, president of Vertical Consultants, and Jeff Kagan, wireless and telecom industry analyst and columnist with RCR Wireless. Hugh, what did you think about Verizon? Let's start with that one. Well, I think it's a mix of good and bad. I think they, they met some expectations, exceeded some expectations with regards to loss of subscribers, which is great because they were 127,000 last year and knocked that down to about 68,000. Their earnings kind of came in line, but I say it's a little bit of fool's gold because they hiked their prices. And they, if you compare the similar plans to AT&T and, and T-Mobile, they're exceeding those carriers. So I think they got some bump there, but they're having to package this with a lot of uh, services like uh, Max and Disney and and others, so they can bring in those subscribers. So I think there's some good things. I think they're going to have some issues going ahead with just trying to keep up the pace, as it is a situation where they're trying to sell something by repackaging, repackaging, repackaging. Yeah, and look, this is the first post earnings drop that we've seen since 2022, and uh, you know, mixed, I guess, is how people are describing their earnings. Uh, the subscriber. Um, numbers beat. So that was some good news. What did you think, Jeff? Good morning. Well, good morning, Hugh. Um, Verizon has had its challenges during the past decade. This report is generally good news. They lost fewer than expected wireless customers, but the story is much deeper than that. You know, the wireless industry is in the early stages of a massive transformation. So Doing strong business today does not guarantee that they're going to be continuing to do strong business tomorrow. You know, resellers um, like new technology, like a a AI and IoT and streaming and the cloud and so much more continue to transform the wireless and telecom industry. And it creates new features and new services and new competitors. Wireless has continually been in the transformation mode since it started 50 years ago. This time around, I think it's more intense because of the new technology and new competitors. And there are growth opportunities and, and risks, but there are also challenges as well. Yeah. And, you know, when we think about the landscape, like I'm looking also at the consumer postpaid phone net ads. I mean, there's so many facets to this. Hugh, um, when you look at the competition and you think about AT&T and T-Mobile, where do they stack up in your mind as far as success? How do you define success? Well, I think the first thing we have to recognize is we're not selling a luxury item anymore. This used to be years ago, a luxury item. You had a cell phone, you had the services. We're selling a utility, and that's what these companies are selling. And that should be pretty easy because we all relied upon, upon that. Even earlier today, the Verizon CEO, Hans Vestberg, much stated that. So it should be easy for them to sell the service. I think the competition with AT&T and T-Mobile, if you're just asking me for if it's a horse race, I always see T-Mobile is out in front. I think they're farther ahead with a lot of their scope of their services, et cetera. I think AT&T and Verizon are kind of that second and third horse. They're kind of trying to compete for whatever's left. And I think the problem is they've got so much into promotions, they forgot to look at the basics and see what they're providing the customer. And that's where customers are, again, getting repackaged services and services, but they're not actually getting the benefit of such things like 5G, which right now, in my opinion, has been a lot of money put into it and not much result from the customer side of it. Right, understood. Um, Jeff, same, what do you think? When you, How would you decide which one's doing better than the other? How do they stack up? Well, you know, we have to look at it going backwards, or are you looking at it going forwards? Looking at it going backwards is what we're talking about right now, but if you look forward, it's a completely different marketplace. We're gonna be valuing these companies differently. You know, Hugh just said that we use these phones differently today than we did 10, 20, 30 years ago. You know, the iPhone and the Android 20 years ago did not exist. This marketplace is a brand new marketplace. T-Mobile at that point was a small fourth place provider after Sprint, and they were struggling for survival. So, you know, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, all of these companies, as well as all the resellers and many other companies are moving into this space. This marketplace is changing. You know, it's, it's, it's moving to streaming and wireless and the web and, and so much more. And, and, and Verizon has to remain relevant as a wireless industry continues to grow and change and be affected by all of these new technologies and all of these new competitors. So Verizon right now is doing okay. I'm glad to see that they had this, this, this performance, but this is not a guarantee for the future. You know, it's continuing to change. And I think if we move out just five years, the marketplace will be very, very different. 
same as it was for T-Mobile. Ten years ago, T-Mobile was lost in space. They were just they were they, they were not one of the players. But today they're a leader. So that can happen to any company. Any company can go from a leader to a to a follower or back to a leader again in the course of just a few short years. So we don't know for sure what's going to happen, what the world will look like in five years, in 10 years, but it will be very different from what it is today. Right, and look, uh, you know, Hugh, you noted too about the bundles and what that's helping to keep Verizon um, in the position it's in, bundles with Netflix, um, Max, Disney, and the stock's at $38. Where do you think this stock is headed? And we didn't even get time to talk about the hack on AT&T, compromised information. Um, we're out of time, but do you see these stocks going higher? Which one would be your pick, Hugh? I, I think if anybody, I, I look at T-Mobile, and I think the thing they have no one else is looking at and is supported is agility, available, available to move with the market. That is the component that, like was being stated earlier, that you need. You need to be able to have agility. AT&T and Verizon are old players. They're playing the old game by the old rules, and T-Mobile is playing a new game by the new rules. All right, Hugh Odom and Jeff Kagan. Thank you both very much. Good to see you.